Good afternoon, everybody. It's uh, 2 p.m. or so I'm advised by our uh, corporate secretary, so I'm going to call the meeting to order. Uh, before we proceed with the meeting, maybe if everybody could shut off their telephones if you have them on and uh, we can avoid listening to your conversations. Uh, my name is Michael Kornberg. I'm a director and the chairman of the company. Um, pleased to be here and acting as chairman of this meeting. Uh, great pleasure to welcome everybody here to, uh, uh, to this discussion in the hotel. Uh, the meeting is convened as the annual general meeting of the shareholders of Canfor Pulp Products, Inc., and has been called for the purposes of receiving the financial statements for the year ended December 31st, 2014, together with the report of PwC, the auditors for the year, uh, and the report to the shareholders, setting the number of directors, in this case at seven, electing the directors for the coming year, and appointing the auditors. Once we've dealt with the necessary resolutions, I intend to uh, invite uh, the president of the company, Brett Robinson, to make some uh, remarks to you. Also on the stage next to Brett uh, is David Calabrigo, who is the uh, uh, corporate secretary of Canfor Pulp. With your indulgence, I'd like to ask everybody to hold on to your questions until either the specific piece of business is being addressed or until the end, and then we're happy to entertain them. Uh, I've asked David to act as the secretary of the meeting, and he's therefore duly appointed as such. I'd like to introduce you to the directors of the company, and if it's all right, I'm going to ask them to stand uh, as I introduce them. The first is uh, Peter Bentley, Stan Bracken Horrocks, David Calabrigo, Charles Jago, Conrad Panette, William Stinson, and myself. I just want to thank each of the directors. This is a, the opportunity at an AGM to thank the directors for their service. We have a very high functioning board. They work well with management, they work well with each other, and it's a privilege to be on the board with them. I'd also like to introduce some other members of the Canfor Pulp management team uh, that are here, uh, including Don Kane, the Chief Executive Officer, Alan Nickel, the Chief Financial Officer, Martin Pudlis, the Vice President of Operations, and I think Pat Elliott is here as well, who's the Vice President and Treasurer. So the first point of business is to appoint the scrutineer with the consent of the meeting. I appoint CST Trust Company to act as scrutineer of the meeting. David, I'd appreciate it if you'd please uh, uh, deal with the notice of the meeting. Mr. Chairman, notice following the meeting was mailed to all shareholders of Camper Falls entitled to receive such notice. CST Trust Company has provided us with a certificate. As to the mailing and a copy of the certificate, will be kept for the records of the meeting. Thank you. I now ask you to please read the preliminary report from the scrutineer. We are pleased to report that there are 51 shareholders holding 58,021,695 shares represented in person or by proxy at this meeting, representing 81.92% of the issued capital of the company. Thank you. As chairman, I uh, adopt the scrutineer's report, declare the attendance of the meeting uh, to be as David has described it. I direct that when delivered, the final scrutineer's report be kept with the records of the meeting. In accordance with that report, I declare a quorum to be present in this meeting to be duly constituted for the transaction of business. I'd now ask those who've kindly agreed to second motions uh, to please do so when I call them out. As you know, there's some pieces of business that need to be transacted at any annual general meeting, and we've prearranged with some people to make or second motions, and we appreciate their, their support. Uh, the minutes of the last meeting is the first item. They're available for any uh, shareholder to read. Unless somebody wants them read, I'll entertain a motion to avoid having to read them. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Remish. Is there a seconder? Thank you, uh, Ms. Jong. Uh, you've all heard the motion. All those in favor, please signify by raising your hand. All those opposed? So that's carried. Thank you. Uh, next item is the presentation of the consolidated financial statements, the report of the auditors and the report of the directors. Um, for the year that's ended December 31st, 2014, together with the auditor's report and the, uh, the report to the board. Uh, these statements and reports are contained in the annual report, which has been mailed to all shareholders. Copies, as I saw, are available at the back of the room and outside the room for anybody to pick up. Unless there's any questions, I'll regard the statements and the reports as received by the meeting. Thank you. Next item of business is the election of the directors of Canfor Pulp, as you've seen from the proxy materials nominated for directors of Canfor Pulp are the following individuals. Peter Bentley, Stan Bracken Horrocks, David Calabrigo, Charles Jago, myself, Conrad Panette, and William Stinson. 
All nominees have consented to be named in the information circular and to serve as directors if they're elected. The meeting is now open for the nomination of any other directors. Uh, there being none, uh, may I have a motion to that effect? Thank you, Ms. Murray. May I have a seconder? Thank you, Ms. Banjack. Are there any further nominations? You've heard the motion. All in favor, please signify by raising your hand. All those opposed? Carried. There being no further nominations, I declare the nominations to be closed. And as only the required number of persons has been nominated, I declare them all elected by acclamation to hold office until the next AGM. Next item of business is the appointment of the auditors, and it's the board's recommendation that KPMG LLP, uh, of which there are some representatives here, be appointed as the auditors of Camphor Pulp. May I have a motion to that effect? Chairman, my name is Stan Bracken Horitz, and I'm a shareholder. I move the appointment as an ordinary resolution of KPMG LLP as auditors of Camphor Pulp Products, Inc. to hold office until the next annual general meeting. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Bracken Horrocks. I also wanted just to acknowledge that uh, Stan uh, chairs the audit committee at Camphor Pulp and does a great job. Uh, he's also an alumnus of PwC, so that must have been fun for him to do. Um, may I have a seconder? My name is Stan and I'm a chairholder. Thank you, uh, Ms. Coombs. You've all heard the motion. All those in favor, please signify by raising your hand. All those opposed? Looks like KPMG's got it. I should note that the company, for many, many years, certainly since it was spun out from, from Canfor, was ably served by PwC. They did a, a good job, a great job for us as auditors. Uh, we never had any conflicts or issues with them as auditors. Uh, we found them easy to work with. We know that uh, this is a small environment and that we'll have further occasion to deal with them from time to time. And I guess the other point I'd make to the KPMG folks is you've got big shoes to fill because they did a great job for the company. So thank you. Um, that having been said, without further ado, I'd like to introduce Brett Robinson and invite him to make some comments. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Welcome to the Canfor Pulp Products Annual General Meeting. On behalf of my management team, I want to thank you for being with us and for your continued support and confidence. 2014 was once again a busy and productive year. We were able to continue to grow our product offerings by leveraging our fiber quality, our technical strength, and the expertise of our innovative workforce, while at the same time improving our operations with a continued focus on operational excellence and targeted investments. In 2014, we completed important capital upgrades and achieved solid operational performance. The most significant investments were in our green energy business, which continues to expand, and we take pride in the fact that Canfor Pulp is one of the largest single bioenergy producers in North America. We are pleased to be finally realizing the environmental and economic benefits of our long-term vision for the green energy business while always moving closer to our goals of energy self-sufficiency. Safety is our top priority, and we continue to look for ways to promote and improve our safety culture to ensure all employees, contractors, and subcontractors go home without an injury. As we proceed through the largest workforce renewal of our history, it is more important than ever to set high expectations, deliver comprehensive training programs, and encourage strong mentorship from our legacy professionals across the business. We are pleased with the quality of candidates that are joining our team, but we need to ensure they are quickly brought up to speed on the risks and the safe work procedures required in their new working environment. Over to 2014 financials. Global softwood pulp markets and prices were better than, expect, excuse me, better than expected in 2014. Our operations ran well and our teams executed on their improvement plans ensuring we maintained our top quartile position. Operating results for the pulp segment benefited from the, these improved markets, the weaker Canadian dollar, and to a lesser extent, increasing energy revenues and an improved higher margin sales mix. Slightly offsetting this was increased fiber and energy costs in addition to lower year-over-year -year shipments as a result of the drawdown of inventories at the end of 2013. Our paper segment delivered solid performance as well with results similar to 2013. Improved paper sales in conjunction with higher sales and production volumes were offset slightly by higher slush pulp prices. 
These combined favorable impacts led to improved earnings in 2014 with sales of 980 million and net income of 89 million up from 42 in 2013. On the first quarter of 2015, our operations reported net income of $41 million compared to Q4 net income of $28 million. Earlier this year, we completed the purchase from Canfor of the bleached chemithermomechanical pulp mill at Taylor, just south of Fort St. John. Both companies will gain operational synergies as we have aligned all pulp and paper operations under Canfor Pulp. Our leadership team is working closely with the Taylor management team as we focus on opportunities to drive out costs, align our management systems, and build an integrated strategic plan moving forward. In 2014, we celebrated the one-year anniversary and a successful start to Fiber United. This cooperative sales, service, and marketing agreement with UPM Pulp has grown our product offerings while strengthening our technical selling proposition across the premium reinforcing pulp market and we are very pleased with our customers' acceptance of this unique value-enhancing approach. Under Fiber United, we are able to provide six grades of market pulp from eight mills on three continents. Customers in China, the US, Japan, and Europe benefit with a wider range of products, faster response times, and advanced technical service, while we are able to offset inflationary cost impacts with a more efficient model. Although this model brought a great deal of change to our team, we did not abandon our legacy technical marketing program we brand TMAP. We are always looking for ways to improve customer service, so connecting with customers directly through technical discussions continues to help us better understand and meet their needs, but we now also have the added knowledge base of one of the largest paper makers in the world, our partner, UPM. Our renewable energy business has steadily grown over the last several years and continues to deliver attractive financial returns while moving us closer to our goal of energy self-sufficiency. In 2014, we achieved a new productivity record of 935,000 megawatt hours of clean renewable energy with the commissioning of Northwood's two new turbines early in the year and record productivity from the PG Mills power facility through continuous improvement efforts with that team. With the commissioning of a new 32 megawatt turbo generator at the Intercon facility last month, we expect 2015 will be another record year for our power business and our teams have shifted their focus to finalizing discussions with BC Hydro on our fourth phase of power growth targeted for 2018. Intercon's new turbo generator was completed on time and on budget and marked a significant milestone at the end of March as all three of our power, oh, sorry, all three of our facilities now export power into the grid. This contributes about 25 million annually to our bottom line while moving us closer to our goals of self-sufficiency. We're also pleased that once again, uh, BC Hydro recognized Canfor Pulp with the Leadership Excellence Award as a result of our power conservation efforts throughout our facilities. Our pulp and paper operations delivered improved results in 2014 with reliability gains, increased operating days and shorter scheduled outages. Prince George Pulp set an annual production record, while the other facilities delivered modest improvements and were encouraged that our teams continue to identify opportunities for debottlenecking, reliability improvements, and cost reduction. In 2014, we invested $58 million in upgrades to keep our mills competitive and efficient and expect to maintain this, face, this pace going forward. As I have already mentioned, our leadership team continues to identify ways to improve productivity through debottlenecking and reliability improvements while at the same time offsetting inflationary impacts through cost reduction, but our continuous improvement efforts don't stop just there. Every year we look for environmental improvement opportunities. Our investments have improved air emissions from our three Prince George facilities, allowing us to meet our commitments to the Prince George Air Improvement Roundtable goals set for 2016. We are now one of the highest quality NBSK producers in the world, as so we are not sorry. So we are always looking for ways to improve our quality monitoring and deliver even better consistency in our customers. This year, we will bring our first phase of the Mahari project online at each of our manufacturing operations. This unparalleled online monitoring tool was developed through collaborative efforts of Canfor Pulp Innovation our operating teams across the facilities, and several key industrial advanced technology partners. With the full commissioning, Mahari will be a first delivering the most advanced levels of quality monitoring in the industry 
and will further strengthen our continuous improvement efforts in the products we produce. Over to our strategy and our focus on One Canfor. Canfor Pulp continues to advance the One Canfor model. We recently promoted Walter Matozovic as Group G GM of residual fiber. This new position supports an integrated residual fiber model across Canfor and Canfor Pulp so we can drive the most value from all revenue streams while ensuring the long-term security of our fiber supply. Canfor and Canfor Pulp recently released our second joint sustainability report. I encourage you to review the wide variety of activities across our companies that are helping us deliver on our commitment to sustainability while always reinforcing the renewable basis of our business with customers, stakeholders, and shareholders. The One Canfor model was front and center earlier this year when Prince George hosted the 2015 Canada Winter Games. Employees from across Canfor and Canfor Pulp, often on their own time, worked together to make the games a success for the city and our company. I had the pleasure of, of welcoming some of the 500 high school students from across northern BC who came to the games as Canfor guests. They attended a hockey game and learned about some of the career opportunities we offer in our companies from northern BC to Alberta. We continue to get positive feedback from the parents of these children, of, the, of these students, sorry. By the time the event had ended on March 1st, Canfor brand had achieved national exposure. A popular special edition Canfor beard and toque combination was among the most sought after pieces of memorabilia throughout the games and I continue to get requests for one even today. And then there's Canfor House. Our hospitality centre for the duration of the games became a popular gathering spot which words really can't describe so I'd like to share a short video. very exciting to have Canada Winter Games here and this is such an exciting time. It's a huge deal for Prince George in the region. The participation with Canfor in the games is being part of the community in itself. We've never hosted a national competition so we're pretty excited about it. We're a little nervous but uh, I know it's going to be just a great event. We wanted something that would bring people together, enjoy the activities that are going on. We coined it Canfor House. It's a beautiful house. Canfor House is a warming hut that it is in the Canada Games Village. We put it up in four days to lock up. It's an opportunity for us to showcase our great products, lumber and, and pulp. The furniture is all constructed. It's all used uh, Canfor wood. We're bringing in thousands of people a day right now. They can come in, spin a wheel for awesome Canfor prizes. There you are. Get a snack, warm up. We have a pellet stove. I think that Canfor has uh, really stepped up in its commitment to being a full-fledged partner. As an example, the uh, the Canfor house. Oh! Oh! The Canfor Beardo is a huge hit at these games. Uh, the kids love them, adults love them, we're getting babies in them. It's pretty, pretty awesome to see. In the communities where we operate, it's so important for us to be part of those communities and giving back to those communities. It's a big part of, I think, our success and why people want to come and work for Canfor. Once we're done with the Winter Games, uh, we're going to donate the uh, warming hut to the Skating Oval organization. It's going to continue being used by the community. I was honoured to be Executive Chair of the Games Host Society and I can assure you the many contributions by our employees and our companies were well recognised by the Canada Games Council, the community and the various local, provincial and federal government officials that I met, over, met with over the course of the Games. The Games were delivered on time, on budget and fully funded while delivering an outstanding athlete experience. Together we opened our great nation's eyes to Northern BC and the Prince George community. For Canfor Pulp, there was never a, be a more important time for this kind of activity as we enter the largest workforce renewal of our company, sorry, our company has ever experienced. I'm convinced that some of the students, visitors, athletes, or family members will give strong consideration to a career that leads to Canfor Pulp. Shifting to the focus on the year ahead, as we look ahead to this year, workforce renewal will continue to demand a significant effort as many of our long-term employees reach retirement age. We will need to maintain our focus on recruitment, retention, training and leadership growth. So we're pleased to have Tracy Arnish leading a renewed and revitalized team that is building our talent strategy for both companies. We have so much to offer, but we just need to make sure more people realize the immense career potential in the modern forest sector. 
We have to change many mis misperceptions and teach people that we are renewable, we are high tech, and we have a very bright future with tremendous growth opportunities for motivated young professionals. As we look forward to 2015, Canfor Pulp will continue to watch for opportunities to maintain our position as an industry leader with strong financial performance. This means growing higher margin segments, lowering operating costs while optimizing our green energy business, and being ready to capitalize on attractive growth opportunities. After more than 135 years, you may think the craft process would be fully optimized, but I continue to be surprised at the increasing number of ideas, approaches, and technologies that emerge from every corner of our business. The reality is that the information age and advances in technology have provided a set of tools that have enabled us to approach things in a very different way, and we're often surprised when problems are revealed as undiscovered opportunities through technological advances or in innovative approaches. We have some of the strongest and highest quality fiber that exists, and customers and markets around the world know this. So while markets will always fluctuate, we will see continued demand for NBSK pulp and paper products based on its superior quality and versatility with limited new sources of supply. I would like to thank our CEO, Don Kane, and Board Chair Michael Kornberg for their valued guidance. Thanks also to our board members who have done so much to support our work and share their knowledge to make our company stronger. I am fortunate to work with a strong leadership team whose members understand what it is needed to succeed and are prepared to make the tough decisions. We have some of the most innovative and skilled employees in the business, thanks to them for their many contributions that allow us to develop and deliver so many quality and product, product, sorry, production goals year after year. And again, thanks to all of you for your continued confidence. Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Brad, and thanks to everybody in the company for all that you've been doing to make uh, it possible for Canfor Pulp to continue to be the leader in this industry and to have executed the company's plans to continue to diversify into the energy business. It's been an important addition to the company's revenues and to its bottom line and has the potential to continue to grow. Uh, for the shareholders and, and others who are present, this would be an appropriate time if you'd like to ask any questions of this management group. I will direct the questions to the folks that uh, can answer them. In the absence of any questions, I'll entertain a motion to terminate the business and perhaps I could uh, circumvent whoever was about to do it and I'll turn to our recently retired chairman of the board of both Canfor and Canfor Pulp and ask you if you'd make that motion for us. Thank you, Mr. Cl Thank you, Mr. Cliff. Uh, any seconder? Is there a seconder for the motion? Thank you, Ms. Nishi. All those in favor, please signify by raising your hand. All those opposed, it looks like we're done. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming. <laughs>